In March 2011, the 16 year old Nick Delosio launched an app called Summly that turned long news articles into short, easy to read summaries. The app instantly received over 100,000 downloads and attracted venture capital investments. Less than two years later, the app was acquired by Yahoo for $30 million, making Nick Delosio a millionaire before hitting 18. But not everyone gets such an opportunity to become so rich at such a young age. However, that doesn't mean there is nothing you can do. In fact, if you make a few right financial decisions when you are still a teenager, you're almost certainly going to become wealthy in your late 20s or maybe 30s. While it's difficult to imagine yourself hitting 30 when you're just 15 years old, trust me, it is going to happen much sooner than you think. And building wealth later is much more difficult. Because now you don't have all of these expenses that adults usually have, such as paying rent, buying groceries and so on. The moment you step into a life where you have to pay the rent and feed yourself, there is no going back. You will automatically have fixed expenses that you can't get rid of. By the way, I have a confession to make. When I was like 15 years old, I had no idea what the stock market is. I've heard about it in the news, I've heard people talking about it, but I literally had no idea what is it and how does it work. So if you're watching this video as a teenager, I'm jealous. I wish I was smart enough to learn about investing when I was 15 years old. To make this video, I ask myself, what are the things I wish I knew when I was a teenager? What are the different financial decisions I would have taken? How would I start building wealth if I would be 14, 15 or 16 years old today? If you're a teenager watching this video, this is probably going to be one of the most important things you will ever learn. Even if you're slightly elder, I'm sure this information can help you as well. So if you're ready, give this video a thumbs up and let's get right into it. The most powerful tool as a teenager you have is compound interest. If you don't take advantage out of it, you're literally wasting your teenage years. If you don't know what compound interest is and how can it help you, don't worry, because I also didn't know that when I was a teenager. Consider this example. If you are given a choice between taking $3 million in cash this very moment or a single penny that doubles every single day for the next 31 days, which one would you choose? At first glance, it seems like choosing the million dollars is the wisest option. But if you take a moment and think about it, you will realize that a penny that doubles for the next 31 days is a far better choice. In the first five days, the penny that doubles every day turns into a single dollar. By the 10th day, it increases to $5.12. Even within the next 10 days, by the day 20th, you are going to get only $5,243. If you have chosen the penny, you probably regret it because you're only getting a little over $5,000 instead of the $3 million that could instantly change your life. But if you would give it a little bit more time, that amount would increase to over $10.7 million by the 31st day. Even by the day 29th, it would only grow to $2.7 million. The biggest difference happens in the last two days. So, if you start investing while you're still 15 years old, you can reap the rewards of the compound interest and become ultra rich by the time you're 30, for example. But because you're not going to see any significant progress in the first year or so, as it is with the penny in its first 20 days, most people don't start early. Of course, you can't start investing if you're under 18, but you can open a custodial account. That means an adult, most likely one of your parents, must open the account with you and be the custodian and you can start investing. Of course, it's risky because as a teenager, you probably don't know much about the stock market, but you don't have to. I would just invest every penny I would save into an ETF that invests in the S&P 500. Whatever happens, I can be confident that my money isn't going to go away. And most importantly, it is going to grow. I'm not going to touch that money at all, not to buy a car or anything else. I would just let it grow and build wealth. And with the power of compound interest, once I grow up, I will have some real wealth. 
Number 2. Don't spend money. I know that sounds weird, but you literally can avoid 99% of the expenses that adults usually have. Do you need a roof over your head? Just keep living with your parents. Do you want to eat? Eat at home, and you don't even have to cook. Of course, there are exceptions. But if you're watching this video from a first or second world country, which should be the case according to my YouTube statistics, then you're most likely able to do that. Once you grow up and you have responsibilities, it's much more difficult. Trust me, if you haven't tried living alone and paying all the bills by yourself, you will never understand that. So take my word. Once you start a family and have kids, saving money will become a dream that you will most likely never achieve. So save every penny you can while you have the opportunity and invest it in an ETF of your choice. And for God's sake, when you hit 18, 19 or 20, don't use that money to buy a car. Because getting a car means a lot of monthly expenses. Every dollar that you spend on maintaining that car could be invested and with the power of compound interest could grow significantly. But in order to save, you have to make money. If your parents giving you pocket money, good for you. If not, as it was in my case for example, then try making money. When you don't have any skills, it's literally difficult to make money because all you can do is get a low paying job. But when you are a teenager, you can afford to take risks. If you end up failing, no one really cares. You are a teenager. No one expects you to build a successful company when you're just 16 years old. And you know what? You still have a roof over your head because you're living with your parents and you don't have to worry about what you're going to eat because you can always eat at home. So if you're a gamer, try streaming, maybe make YouTube videos, open a Fiverr account and find out if you can offer any services. Try door to door selling, try to sell something online got a better idea? Try it! The best time to try is when you're still a teenager. You will never have such an opportunity again. Don't think about failure. If you succeed, good for you. If you do not, it doesn't matter. I remember helping people fixing their computers back when YouTube wasn't a thing. You couldn't simply watch a YouTube video to find out how to fix your computer. Especially now with all of these opportunities, as long as you have access to internet, you have no excuses. Number 4. Keep learning. As a teenager, especially when you are 17 or 18 years old, you think that you have figured everything out. Trust me, you haven't. You are thinking like that because of how little you know about everything. So make learning your first priority. Don't assume you know everything about money just because you could earn a few hundred dollars. Don't hesitate to take a piece of advice from someone elder than you. Don't assume you have figured everything out just because you watched a YouTube video. Number 5. Get yourself ready once an opportunity strikes. You probably already have heard that most of the money is made during crises, but it's not made by random people, but rather by those who were getting ready for such an opportunity years ago. Those who saved enough money and understood how the economy works made a fortune in 2020. Others built their fortunes during the crypto crisis or during the real estate crash. So if you're not seeing instant progress now, don't worry. Just keep hustling. Your time will come. Be ready for it. Building wealth is great. Investing, building businesses is of course awesome. But it doesn't worth it if you're not going to have fun. Make sure to have fun along the way, especially when you're a teenager. You're not going to be a teenager again, so don't miss this opportunity to create some unforgettable memories. Anyways, give this video a thumbs up if you have found it helpful. And remember, you can get two free stocks from Webull if you open an account and deposit a hundred bucks. Make sure to subscribe if you're new around here and turn on your notifications. Thanks for watching and until next time.